says the figure shows a scatter plot with a regression line for teachers' average pay and the expenditure per, public, per pupil for each state uh, for public schooling. So again, we're looking at maybe all 50 different states, and we're looking at the average pay for each teacher and how much the cost is for each student. Okay, and it says, from the graph is the correlation between teachers' average pay and the expenditure per pupil positive or negative? Okay, so correlation R is our correlation, and it tells us that uh, we know that if R is positive, if the correlation is positive, then we have a positive trend, and if it's negative, we have a negative trend. So with this slope going like this, we know we have a positive trend, so we know that R is positive. And, uh, and then it says, uh, in, interpret the slope, okay? And so our predicted expense is equal to negative 1424 plus 0.2315 times average pay. Okay, and so um, our slope, the slope is equal to 0.2315. And this says that um, in states, or uh, what we predict, we predict that the uh, expense per student increases by 0.2315, okay? So the expend expenditure per pupil is just in dollars, okay? So we're expecting them, expecting the expense per student to increase by about 23 cents, okay, for each additional dollar Uh, in teacher's average pay. Okay, and this is from state to state, okay? So in states where the average pay is higher by $10, we expect the, uh, the expense per student to increase by $2.3, okay? Because we're basically expecting about 23 cents to uh, an, an increase of about 23 cents for each additional dollar in teacher's average pay. And this is from state to state. And interpret the intercept or explain why it should not be interpreted, okay? So the intercept is negative 1424. And this is our prediction uh, for a state. This is our prediction for the amount, the expense per student for a state where the teacher's average pay is zero. Okay, so that doesn't make sense. It doesn't make sense. Now, some teachers might feel like they're getting paid zero, but, but nobody is actually getting paid zero dollars for their year of work, okay? Or no teachers, the, the average no teacher's average, no state has an average pay for teachers of zero dollars, okay? And it also doesn't make sense that the expense per student be negative, okay? How can you spend a negative amount on students? That means you're billing the students uh, 1424, okay? And that, that doesn't make sense when we're talking about um, public schools uh, where education is pretty much offered free, okay? Now, once you get to college, then you are, you're charging students for tuition, but there's also a lot of money being spent um, to, uh, to fund the education. So, so there is a, this is our prediction, and it doesn't make sense to, uh, to in, uh, interpret the intercept.